take one. Well, where is he? Well, do you know where he is? That smarmy prick! Well, he's got five minutes. So why don't you go and get Orson and fill in for him? Something I picked up recently. Mind if I bum one? Desperate. Here. Thanks. Got a light? Sorry. You don't have a lighter or matches. No. Smart ass. Bitch. Don't call me a bitch. Same brand I smoke, how convenient. I didn't do this to impress you. I'm just replacing one disease ridden habit with another. Don't start with me. Fuck, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. some more. Those are disgusting. Almost as disgusting as your attendance here, Mr. Harrison. So, I'm here now, aren't I? Your employment here is on shaky ground, Mr. Harrison. Now, pick those up and Put them in this bowl. So how have you been? Peachy. And don't forget your helmet popcorn, Colonel Clank. So, uh, you think the smoking thing might help patch things up with Amy? Nah, my motives for smoking are purely both the mellow, robust flavor and patching anything up with an old girlfriend. Oh, come on. I know you. You always used to carry tampons around in the eighth grade just in case you had a period. Sex head had to be paranoid. Man, you've been obsessed with her ever since you guys met. Like, always buying her shit and all that stuff. So you're saying she's using you? Well, no, no, no. Not at all. Like, you guys, you, you had a lot in common. Uh, you know, she liked to buy useless shit and you liked to waste your money. So, is it awkward working with Dean now that we've broken up? I could see it being a problem on his end, but I'm fine with it. I'm just here to make money. Wow, if that were me and Greg, shit would be hitting the fan right about now. Yeah, that's because you guys have an on-again, off-again relationship. Your unresolved feelings and issues always get in the way. I know how I feel, and I'm done with that part of my life. I know we only broke up last week, but we have been done for a long, long time. Plus, he always used to steal my tampons, and it really creeped me out. So I guess you're pretty happy that we can uh, hang out without her coming along, eh? Oh man, I never minded Amy. She was awesome. Like, we hung out just the other night. Went bowling. It was pretty good times. Good times. You went bowling with her after what you did to me. Oh yeah, man. Well, I'm still friends with you after what you did to her. I didn't do anything to her. You were a jerk and you know it. I wonder if she's being a bitch. <laughs> bitch! <laughs> bitch. Oh shit, don't ever do that again! <laughs> you bitch! What am I paying you for, ladies? Do some windows! <clears throat> Come on! Come on! Yes, that's right. You know you want to see this movie. Yeah. You've been brainwashed by the banners and ads. You've seen it on the late night television shows. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come to me! 
Come to me. Eat it. 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 Sir, you need a ticket. Don't you know who I am? No, should I? Do you know now? Uh, Stevie Wonder. I'm fucking Mordecai Bambara! Sir, don't you mean the actor who plays Mordecai Bambara? <laughs> Sir. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Nothing. It's none of your business. Just me, please. Kids under five are free, right? No, sorry. How much? It's 450. What? I have to pay five bucks to get her in? She's a baby. I'm a single mom. I can't afford to pay five bucks to get my kid into this movie. Come on, cut me a break. As long as they don't take up a seat, we don't charge. Look. We don't expect to get a lot of people tonight, so if you keep it on your lap until the lights go down, then whatever we don't see won't hurt us. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Let's go back outside. You're welcome, man. <sighs> Fuck, I hate kids. What do you got against the future, you heartless bastard? Well, they never know what they want, and their parents want them to make their decisions from an early age, so, like, you just have to tell them what they want. Just, just watch this. What would you like, sweetheart? You tell the man what you want. <sighs> would you like a small popcorn? Uh-huh. Oh, and would you like a small root beer? Uh-huh. Alright, that's uh, good stuff. So what would you like, ma'am? I'll have... Uh, a... Uh... Would you like a large popcorn? Yeah. Hey. <sighs> I can smell your pheromones. Excuse me? You must be so horny right now. <laughs> what? Oh, one adult. That's 750, please. Looks like I've left my money at home. Is there any other way I can pay you? You're making me uncomfortable. You're making me uncomfortable, miss. Very uncomfortable. Can I um, uh, get one of them there, uh, um, Bonic specials? Oh, ironic. Hi, how can I help you? I'm Dallin Klez. I'm here to speak with Mr. Hawksetter about a job interview. Oh, right, yeah. He was saying something about that before. Just come around. He's in the office. Hi, uh, Mr. Hawksetter. I'm Talon Klez. I'm here about a job interview. Oh! Hello, Mr. Klez. Have a seat. All right, that's, uh, 4.50. Uh, okay. Uh, um, wh wh where's the bathroom? <laughs> 